My job as a cardiothoracic surgeon is to treat patients who have heart disease, lung disease, and also esophageal disease. So it's really everything from your collarbone to your diaphragm. In the field of cardiothoracic surgery, you can super specialize, and I've, su I've super specialized in adult cardiac surgery. There are fields of thoracic surgery and congenital surgery, uh, and some surgeons practice in all three of them. But for the most part, in an academic center where I am, I only practice adult cardiac surgery. So I see patients who have diseases of the heart or the aorta. The types of procedures that I perform are predominantly lung procedures and to a, a second degree esophageal procedures, the esophagus being the food tube that goes from the mouth to the stomach. For, for the lung, the most common operations I'm doing are for people with lung cancer and it's usually uh, helping to stage and uh, develop how advanced the lung cancer is as well as to remove uh, people's lung cancer to try to give them an opportunity for cure and a prolonged and better quality of life. I treat um, all heart defects that anyone could be born with that might need surgical repair or palliation. I perform a wide variety of procedures um, that can be anywhere from a simple patch of a hole inside a child's heart to complex palliation where there is no fix, but we have come up with ways to make their heart defect be more livable um, and give them a better quality of life. And one of the great things about our discipline is that uh, we're all dedicated to one goal, to help patients live better and live longer. And it takes a long time to get the skills, uh, the education, the knowledge to be able to take care of those patients. But once we do, it's an extraordinary opportunity to have a big impact. And we feel fortunate as a discipline and as surgeons and as individuals to help save lives every day. And that's a really special feeling.